with the mix. But hey, we're going to be getting into our next game here. Uh, and speaking of mixes, we're going to be getting a little bit of the bear taking on a robot. Rob versus Banjo-Kazooie on Smashville. What do you guys think about this matchup? Um, well, I saw, we saw a little bit of Banjo this weekend on Smash World Tour, and, like, this character, unless you're doing the absolute most with him, a lot of times can end up being a little underwhelming when it comes to explosive potential. Like, the long game is always there, Banjo has that on lock, but when it comes to making comebacks, that's where it gets difficult, so it's really all on Axiom XL to keep their foot on the gas pedal, keep control of the set in order to win. Yeah, um, I... I, th I think, obviously on paper, you know, Rob does better. Rob has better recovery. Bob, Rob has fantastic projectiles, etc. But I think the question is going to be how well it, um, the habits are identified. Because Wonder Wing is a great move when you, if you know when your opponent is going to hit buttons. At 127, Wonder Wing is not needed. As that aerial comes through and first stop is lost. Unfortunately, great thing. There was an interaction there that I thought was really neat by Axiom. And I'm not sure if, if it happened exactly the way I saw it, but Axiom put out the egg grenade, grabbed the egg grenade, and then actually grabbed 8 Man and did a back throw, and as he was spinning him around, the grenade exploded. So I was like, that's really neat. Like, I, I've never really thought of that. Like, I don't know if people ever, you know, tend to do that stuff, like, you know, with snake mains. I don't, I don't know how often they're holding a grenade and grab their opponent, but, I mean, there's also a bunch of other explosives happening at the same time. But I thought it was really neat from Axiom. You know, I ended up putting on a little bit more extra damage. Got the first stock. Sitting here at 152, though. On Smashville, they should be dying for the brother. This is ridiculous. Axiom right now is just doing such a good job. Still having a Wonder Wing. Talk, I, I, I could have sworn there had been at least 10 Wonder Wing Jews on this first stock. Then there's still one left. Ooh. And uh, it's gonna get the most mileage possible. Got some banjo stuff going on here. 165 too. That's the okay. There we go. That should end the stock. There it is. Finally gonna take a stock off the board. Hopefully, Apeit Man can reset whatever uh, mental's going on to be able to turn this game around. I mean, Rob, character with a lot of crazy uh, offensive options, can close out stocks immediately. Almost got one right there. Yeah, good delay right there by Axiom. You know, not coming up right away, making sure not to be spiked. Ooh. And it, it's such a weird pace to watch because it feels if Axiom's actually dictating the pace, which you wouldn't really expect against 8 Bitman or Rob. 8 Bitman's really starting to turn this up too. Uh, Axiom looking a little bit lost here. Ooh, and those grenades are so cool. You know, just kind of, you know, what do Robs want to do? They want to land with an air. Well, let me just put an exploding hitbox that's going to blow up as soon as you touch it. <laughs> Raid it right. Because it's got the fire properties too, so, I mean, you really can't dodge it at that point. Yeah. Axiom is doing a fantastic job here, but still, like, Hitman is making a small comeback. Could be dangerous moving forward. Oh, oh. this is really unfortunate. Um, Could have used Wonder Wing, opted for an air dodge, thought they were a little closer than they were. How mad were they? So mad they unplugged their router. <laughs> oh. Is this real life? It's, you know... You know, I like the fact that we're watching a Falco plushie and a Wii U gamepad sitting in some chairs. <laughs> Honestly, I, yeah. It's, it's, Let me uh, see if I can it, get 8-Bit nice. stream. Hey, I forgot 8-Bit does stream. I, I was like, whose stream can we even watch right now? I yeah. think the man's been uh, on the grind, too. Is it 8-Bit Man? Uh, it yeah. should be 8 Brett Man, I think. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Let me see here. Yeah, that's it. This is my history from before. Let's see what we got happening. Let's see if we can hit some updates. Ads. Ooh, well, it is a uh, one stock apiece right now. 148 to 78 on Smashville. And as soon as... <laughs> I tell you all that, we're going to see the Wonder Wing at the edge to actually close that out. So Axiom is going to take that game one. Wow. <clears throat> and uh, everyone in the chat, very supportive of it, you know? <laughs> Must yeah, be I need to get some homies, like, in my chats, like Ape it has in his yo, chat. You got game two, though, man. Game one, no big deal. Like, yo. <laughs> I have never seen that much support. <laughs> 
I think Apostle's the only one in my corner. Dude, it's okay. Everyone else, yeah, man, it's a wash. The, it's a the, wash. The, <laughs> the worst part here is that the guy who just said game one, no big deal, two seconds later says, go huh? <laughs> 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 It's like, damn. You That's thought rough. it was a homie. <laughs> they see the funny bear and bird one time and they just can't help themselves. You gotta let one out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, so game one, going to Axiom here. We're going to see what happens as we go into game two. Looks like we will be getting a stage change. Don't know where to. Probably like a PS2, maybe a town and city. I don't know town and city. Smaller blast zones on the sides might not be exactly what we want, especially with Banjo, who kills off the sides pretty effectively. All right. Three, two, one, go! At PS2. Choice. But actually, I'm, I mean, I really did underestimate just how much movement control could really be exerted, especially um, early on, because these strings, I'm not really sure, like, where Bando's damage has come from, but I, I blinked and the opponent's at, like, 70. And a lot of it isn't just like a combo, it's just strings where you have to read your opponent repeatedly. Keeping that gyro in play too, bouncing all over the place through the explosions, other eggs, uh, other projectiles clanging with them. 8-bit man threw it like four or five times. There we go, looking a lot better. Was looking a lot better at the end of game one too, so hopefully they're kind of using that to, you know, bring a new approach to this game two here. Oh, Ooh. that's a good start. Nasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's one of those scenarios where, you know, as a player on the receiving end, what made you choose to roll in? You know, the worst case scenario, you get dash attacked if you check roll away. Rob's slow. Rob's not reaching you with anything devastating. I think it's just always like a, it's a fear thing because um, you, you want to avoid going towards the ledge because. I don't know, I think it's just a, it's a habit that a lot of players have that they kind of need to, you know, get out of. So rolling in just happens to be like a reactionary thing almost, and <laughs> Rob Mains just happened to be looking for that habit. <laughs> oh, it was almost so cool. I mean, he got murked out of it, but that was so yeah. cool. <laughs> well, you know what they wanted, just unfortunately messed up the input at the last second. That was pretty wild, though. That right. Wonder Wing was reaching. Yeah. Maybe showing some signs of being flushed or like I said before, Banjo, if you get that early lead on him, the character just has a super rough time. Especially against Rob, who can throw it on that gyro and just not have to interact after that. But that up smash, very strong move, gonna take away that stock. Ape it's still very much in the lead, but actually almost closed out that stock. Yeah, yeah, now we got Axiom with only one Wonder Wing left on this stock. So if they are able to get a good amount of damage, that's great. But oh, you don't want to do damage to yourself. They wanted a little more range, you know? That's all. Oh, and the last Wonder Wing is gone. Bro. Gonna have to that do was, it without it. That was almost a super sick setup. Like, he, <laughs> like obviously, Axiom flew a little too far ahead, but he was going for that drop right into the backer. That would have been gross. Axiom, though, is still doing a great job. Even though there's not a Wonder Wing left and you're at 176%, you are getting some much-needed damage on the 8-bit right now, and that's at least going to carry over if, you know, you don't manage to take this stock before 8-bit, which is not looking likely at the moment. <laughs> they threw out a Wonder Wing there. <laughs> you got the animation where he just trips over himself. Oof. But suddenly, this became even. Yeah. Have a job. I'm not going to do too much, just buy some space. Axiom. Finally. Swinging. 8-bit does manage to clean up that stock first, though. Still at 126%, Axiom can pretty much take it with an aerial will do it. Wonder Wing, obviously. I would be surprised to see a smash attack just because that's so risky. 
taken a lot of small chip damage, though. Taken 31%. It wasn't, like, really bursty or anything like that, but over time, man, it will build up a lot, potentially giving 8-Bit Man the, the, not just the lead, but the victory. Okay, random arm rotor must have been a misinput, but it is what it is. 63% sitting pretty. So much pressure being applied by 8-Bit right now. All right, let's see if we got these snipes. Got another grenade. Nice. The angle of that down tilt does give you like more opportunities. Sends out a crazy angle too. So I mean, I mean, Rob's not gonna worry about it too much. He's got a lot of uh, resources when it comes to recovering, but like other characters, you pretty much have to stock on him. It's gonna be a regrab, grab They're fully aware though, and just fighting their way back up with the up air. Great trade. You're at 105%. It's not looking good, but a great trade, and there's still a little bit of hope left. Yeah, with only two Wonder Wings left as well. Can't be wasting these too much more. It's kind of like your your prime kill option to really turn this around. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Axiom's a magnet. Doesn't matter what 8-bit throws out, it's gonna connect. Ooh. Side B? Nope. Uh, man, Axiom just is definitely making a run here, but like, again, just like you said, is a magnet just taking all this small percentage over and over again. Any projectile just happens to land right on him. Yeah. This is it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he knew the exact percent. Yeah. Ooh. Yep, definitely got a few pummels in there just to definitely ensure that the stock was gonna be gone and we're gonna be seeing a game three out of this. Great response from 8-Bit Man, making sure that they don't go down 2-0 and out of the tournament actually by Axiom. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Seeing of any sort of adjustments that can be made. Uh, I mean, going off of game two, the adjustments are definitely on Axiom to make. He was looking a little strong. I mean, I think as long as he's able to not get hit by all these projectiles, the game swings a lot. <laughs> but was literally taking every single projectile that 8-Bit Man was throwing out. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, try to slow it down. Uh, at least if you're Axiom, don't. Some of the Wonder Wings at points just felt kind of, hey, I'm throwing this out because maybe you're slipping and not a, I'm throwing this out because I know what you're trying to do and where you're trying to go. And I think that could be a, a big difference. Right. It was more like composure then? Yeah, more of a, comp uh, not even, maybe a lack of respect or laziness, you know, it's, it, uh, we, we all have those uh, options that we go for where it's, I, I don't really feel like doing anything. You're not that good. I'm just going to go for this and not think. But like 8-Bit's not a player you can do that with. Um, as demonstrated, <laughs> game number two. So yeah, it's a point. It, it's one of those things where it's, no, you need to always be on your P's and Q's, show respect to this particular opponent, and... Mm -hmm. Don't waste your resources because not only are you wasting your resource, especially with Wonder Wing, but you're also losing your life because it's going to punish you every time for it. Mm -hmm. Right. But here we go. Game three for all the marbles here between 8-Bit Man and Axiom. Three, Don't know what stage. Two, Looks like we're going to be seeing one, small go. battlefield here. I mean, let's just see who kind of gets this early lead because it seems like uh, that's kind of been a really big factor for how these games have gone so far. 8-Bit Man did take the early lead first stock in game two. Axiom taking the first stock in game one and just really blew up from, uh, from there. Just The opponent just wasn't really able to make a really solid comeback, at least one enough to take a lead back. Oh boy, here we go. Come Woo. on, man. All right, well, radio time. Right now we have 8-Bit <laughs> yeah. Man versus Axiom. They're both on the third stock, 69% to 74%. 8-Bit Man um, has a little bit of a deficit, but now they're pretty much dead even as they're both teeing off on the platforms, now on the ground. Uh, Axiom just answered back with a pretty big dash attack and now trying to capitalize on that positioning as 8-Bit Man rolls right through all the pressure, starting to neutral air and landing on the shield, now throwing out more arrows and back airs, but the Wondering, you have to respect that. Now Axiom teeing off a pretty big ledge guard on the left side of the stage, barely whiffs with an up or 
a four smash up smash and Ape Man sends Axiom straight to the top. Still alive though, three stocks apiece, both of them. And the Arm Rotor, Ape Man draws first blood, 110%. Not gonna be living too long though, because the Fort Air does connect, not gonna kill just yet. Sends Ape Man low, and Axiom dropping very deep, and the spike, but Ape Man misses attack and is gonna be sent low, but is Rob, he's gonna be sent flying right back. Now Ape it getting some super extra credit, already at 40%, as uh, Axiom is just struggling to land on the platforms of the small battlefield. Going to start throwing out some projectiles, some eggs, some grenades, some lasers. I'm going to throw inside of Ape Man just to break through the pressure and get some footing in the door to complete the pressure. And 64% on the side of Axiom, he keeps on getting higher and higher. Axiom not able to find anything just yet as Ape Man started to feel a bit more confident throwing out some charged up smashes. Axiom, again, still fighting on the back foot, trying to throw out some forward air, some haymaker, some anything, some up tilts, a rapid jab at the left side of the stage. Still not going to kill Ape Man living at 150% more than borrowed time as he starts to... Um, make the recovery, floating back slowly. Ape Man not in a rush at all, but even still, Axiom going for deep edge guards, hitting with eggs, hitting with a bit of grenades, but not able to find any kills until that down smash. Ape it over at 170, or down tilt rather, over 170%. Finally going to drop that stock, but the damage might have been done. Axiom going to be sent to over 100%, doing an up smash from Ape Man as the pressure keeps on coming. A gyro setting on the stage. And now Ape Man is starting to offer a bit more of an aggressive approach. Ape Man. Throwing out some lasers now. Axiom starting to look like he's not really quite in a rush. He's throwing out more F tilts, and that change in pace might be the thing that Axiom needs to get him back in the game. So the grab finally comes through, starts the berry. Up air, DI check, he's gonna survive that. Uh, 143%, Axiom still staying alive, just barely. So now slowing it down a bit more, but another grab, another down throw. This time he shouldn't be able to survive, and he does not. Ape Man has two stocks left at 49%. Axiom only has one stock left at 0%. And this is lose eighth, by the way, two out of three. This is not best five territory just yet. So if whoever loses this game is gonna be out of the tournament at seventh place. But Ape Man is trying to make sure that's not him as he racks up 37%, has a gyro close by. Starting to roll through a bit of the pressure of Axiom. Axiom hang out on the ledge, 49% on him. He's gonna have a grenade in hand now. Starts to throw out a bit of Wonderings, maybe a bit of Haymakers. Not gonna hit with the down air as Axiom drops down low, but Axiom throws out a Wonder Wing, just trying to get any footing, anything in the door. But Ape Man sitting center stage has a gyro. Just gonna throw it against Axiom's shield as Axiom floats above him. Now Axiom was hanging out on the left side of the stage. He's gonna be um, throwing some more eggs, some more grenades. Ape Man drawing his um, line of scrims on the right side, looking like he's not really willing to pass right now, taking out pretty much every little bit of percent as he can get, knowing that any trade puts him in a lead. So now Ape Man sent off stage on the left side. Axiom not really posturing very aggressively, just hanging out in shield. The less trapping just hasn't been there, but the neutral air is gonna poke through shield of Ape Man. So now he's gonna be recovering high, just opt out to deal with any of that. But the grenade does connect. Okay, so Ape Man retreating to the other side of the stage, and now there's just a game of cat and mouse. Left side, right side, left side, right side, right side, going high, going hitting with the Wonder Wing. So now Axiom on the verge of making this comeback. He's gonna be putting a pretty big 20% already. Hits with the neutral air, Ape Man off stage. Now Axiom starting to build a bit of confidence. Now the jugs with the up air, the pretty big hitbox starting to come out too. A trade happens though, and that might be the thing that starts to seal the deal in Ape Man's victory, because uh, Axiom is over 100%. Ape Man starting to fish for down tilts, fish for rolls. Possibly looking a little bit flustered in this moment, but taking a second behind his gyro to recompose himself, still moving very cleanly right now as Axiom gets tagged by a neutral air, sent off stage again, but... All right, so here we go on the right side. Down throw, gets hit with the very last hit of up air, but not gonna get the kill just yet. Okay, but Axiom using all the jumps, using all the resources he possibly can just to find something. Ape Man going deep, Wonder Wing, he only has one Wonder Wing left. So it's do or die right now for Axiom. So now, right now, Axiom throwing out a couple of grenades again, just to break through the line of scrims that is the gyro. But the down smash, and that should be it, that is it. So Axiom gonna fall seventh place. Ape Man moving onwards. Got some huh. fans in the chat, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. That's oh, why you man. get paid the big bucks. <laughs> I, I, was like, I was like, do we jump in or, or do we do we let him live his life? <laughs> I was waiting for him to get like the uh, the old like 1920s, like, and he's going for the home run. Like that deal. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we're throwing that in there next time, next time. <laughs> uh, Comcast did not drop our internet again. <laughs> Please. Oh, man. Wait. 
as you said, 8 Man is going to take it 2-1, which means they will be moving on to take on Nalga, which should be interesting because if I actually check some stats, I'm not sure what 8 Man's record is against Donkey Kongs, but I do know that he's fought Chunky Kong enough times. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chunky yeah. Kong kind of gets the better of him sometimes. Yeah, Chunky Kong is a wild beast. <laughs> thing is you have to